Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use Python and the Yahoo Fin package to scrape a list of ticker symbols. So for example, if you want to get a list of all the stock tickers that make up the Dow or the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ, we're going to learn how to do that. We'll also show how we can take a list of ticker symbols, such as the list of Dow tickers that we're going to extract and then pull back the historical stock price data for each of those tickers. Please make sure to like or share this video and uh, subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified about future videos. And if you want to check out other videos that I've, that I've made about Python and specifically about Python and Yahoo Fin, please check out other videos on this playlist which are linked in the description below. All right, so like in previous videos where we were talking about Yahoo Fin, we'll start by importing the package and specifically we'll import the stock info module. So I'll do that by typing import Yahoo Fin dot stock info as SI. And now let's suppose we want to get a list of all the tickers in the DAO. We just need to type SI dot tickers DAO. And this will return a list of all 30 tickers in the DAO. Now let's suppose we want to get a list of all the tickers in the S&P 500. We just need to change our code to say si.tickers underscore SP 500. And I'll run that. And that'll return a list of all the tickers that make up the S&P 500. And similarly, if we want to get a list of all the tickers that make up the NASDAQ, we just change our code to si.tickers underscore NASDAQ. And now we have a list of all the tickers that make up the NASDAQ. So how can we use this information? Well, one common need is that we can use this to get a list of all the tickers that make up a particular index. So let's say all the tickers in the Dow and then pull back the historical stock price data for each of those tickers. So let's go ahead and do that by uh, working in the uh, left side on the editor. So here I'll, I'll retype import yahoo fin dot um, stock info as si. And now I'll say dow equals si dot tickers dow. This will get the, the list of tickers in the dow. And then I'll, I'll loop through each ticker in the dow. So I'll say for ticker and dow. Um, let's get si dot get data of ticker. So we want to download the uh, historical price data for each of the tickers in the DAO. And we need to store that somehow. So I'll store that by first creating an empty dictionary. And then in each iteration in the loop, we'll add uh, the historical stock price data um, into a, a new element in the dictionary. So this will, so to recap, this code will get a list of all the tickers in the DAO create an empty dictionary and then go through each ticker in the DAO and then get back the historical uh, stock price data set associated with each ticker. So let's go ahead and run this code and see what happens. All right, now we've run the code. So we have all of the historical data that we wanted to see. So if I type in a name of a ticker in the DAO, so for example, let's say Apple, uh, this will show me the historical price data for Apple, or I can look at the other uh, tickers. So if I do prices.keys, I can see the other tickers in our um, dictionary of data sets. So let's say I do like prices of V for Visa, that gets me the historical data for Visa, or let's say for, um, Walmart prices of Walmart would give me the uh, historical price data for Walmart. And similarly, you could do that for any other ticker. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like or share this video with your friends. And as always, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified about future videos. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching.